How's it going guys and welcome to the intermediate tool tutorial for spray painting. So today we're going to be looking at tools that are needed to make more complex and detailed pieces of art. Along with that we're going to talk about tools that aren't necessary but are very useful to have. So the things you'll need are palette knives, foam brushes, straight edges, a sock, and gloves. First we have palette knives. You've probably seen me use these a lot because they're great for adding detail to your paintings. You can use these to create trees, highlights, rocks, twigs, and all different kinds of things in your paintings. Foam brushes are a great thing to have too. They don't really have a whole lot of uses, but they're great for when they're needed. You can create different kinds of trees, background images, and you can block in large amounts of area with paint that you can't really do with a can of spray paint. On to straight edges! These tools are very versatile and very handy in your paintings. Use these to protect areas from overspray and create fine lines in your paintings. With these, you can create bodies of water, shading, and bright stars. Just like circular lids, you get a variety of sizes. And this whole time, you've probably been asking, what the fruitcake, Seth, a sock? Yes, a sock. Turn an old sock inside out, and you get this bumpy texture. This is great for creating leaves and foliage in your paintings. You can use sponges, but they seem to cost a little bit more, and they don't really actually seem to work that well. And lastly, there's gloves. These aren't necessary, but they're extremely convenient. Spray paint can be a really big pain to get off your hands, especially when it's dried on there. And during that drying process, the paint gets really sticky and makes it really hard to handle your tools. Just in general, gloves make painting a lot easier and a lot cleaner to do. And really, that's about it for tools. I've told you all the items you need to go out and start painting. If you're just starting out though, stick with the basic tools. Tutorials from now on are going to actually be painting videos so you can follow along and learn how to actually paint. So next week, we're going to start painting. Until then, keep practicing and I'll see you guys later.